to you, joined now by the head coach of the Ferris State Bulldogs, Andy Brockabuzz. The Bulldogs get a 92 to 71 win over Northwood, and coach, obviously a, a huge second half for your team. Uh, definitely needed here as you put up 52 points here in the second half. That was a good second half. I mean, the en the energy was great. The energy was great. So they they made up their mind they were just going to play hard. And uh, guess what? When you when you play hard, good things happen. But so do bad things. I mean, you play hard, you get scored on, or you fall down, or you make a mistake. That happens too, but playing hard is, is the key to everything. It gives you a chance. It gets you a ticket in the building. And, and you know, they did it in the second half. We played hard in the second half. And, and you know, I, coaching effort at this point in the year is, is not something that should be, should be done. So they motivated themselves, and they played hard in the second half, really hard. Obviously uh, played hard, and a lot of those opportunities defensively led to some, some good looks offensively, and you're able to knock down some uh, shots here at the second half of play. Yeah, we got, we got some flow, um, and, you know, you see some shots go in, it energizes you, and, you know, the next one goes in, the next one goes in, so um, real important. But, you know, we, we got them on the glass. We gave up too many offensive rebounds, but, you know, we, we still won the overall rebounding battle, which was important too. Um, you know, because they have big athletic bodies down there. You know, they play a lot of fours and fives in their lineups. They set a lot of screens for their guards, and, you know, they got some talented guards. They got some talented young players. Obviously, uh, one of those games that was uh, kind of tough to get into a flow at times, 47 fouls called here in the contest, but uh, your guys able to knock down some, some big free throws, 22 or 27 from the line. I mean, honest, honest, honestly, it, it, it's tough because there's, there was that many fouls and more, and, and not just on them, but on us too. I mean, there's a lot of fouling going on, and, you know, Usually in this type time of the year, they just they don't call anything, so they just let it go and it's a bloodbath. But today they they, they were consistent, but you can't you can't call them all. I mean there was a there was a ton, a uh, ton of fouls, and, and we got we got to clean that up. We got to show our hands and play better team defense, um, be in some gaps, give each other some su support, so it's, we're not just on an island following people. But uh, you know that, so yeah, it was it was kind of choppy on 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 that end. But you know you got to win them all different ways. Maybe talk about the resiliency of your guys after a couple tough games on the road last week. Uh, first half was kind of back and forth. You couldn't really put Northwood away, but uh, to come out in the second half and play the way they did uh, really speaks uh, about their resiliency. Yeah, I mean, you just you, you want to help them out so bad. I'll do whatever it takes, you know, whatever I can to help my guys out. I love them so much, and, you know, I believe in them so much. But it, it comes down to... It comes down to them looking in the mirror, looking each other in the eye, and saying, "Hey, we're we're not going to get out competed. If there's one thing we're not going to do, we're not going to get out competed." And uh, w when you say that, and you do that, and you believe it, and you go through some missed shots or some turnovers, and you still do it, next play, next play, good things happen. And uh, I think that's what they did in the second half, and I think that's a good thing moving forward. Obviously, uh, moving forward, uh, you got a couple games on the road later on this week. Uh, this game, uh, they're all important from this point forward, but uh, not only was this important to get a win, but important really to, to start playing uh, some great basketball again uh, here going into a couple tough games on the road this week. Well, again, we, we, we said, you know, adversity is only good for you if you do the right thing with it. You know, we talk about below the line and above the line responses. you got to respond above the line and do it over and over and over for a chance to, to get good. And, and when you're on a path from the beginning of the season to your full potential, it's it's not a s straight line. You know, it's plateaus, and you hit those plateaus, and you got you got to grind through them. So this is definitely one of them, and uh, you know I think we grinded through, and you know we 27 assists again tonight, and uh, you know we defended the ball screen better in the second half, and we just had energy, which is which is great to see. I'm very proud of these guys for for putting their foot down. Obviously, uh, here at Parkside uh, coming up on Thursday night, so not a whole lot of recovery time as you're going to hit the road uh, here coming up on Wednesday and a big matchup on Thursday. Yeah, these guys are thoroughbreds, man. They don't need recovery time. Uh, honestly, they're, they're specimens, and they're, they're big-time athletes, and they're trained, they're, and they're in super good shape, So and they like to play games. So I don't want to hear anybody complaining <laughs> about, about uh, three games a week. So I, I think it's fun, and, uh, you know, that's, that's about all I think about. So we, we used to... NAI, we used to play during the week, and then every weekend we play a tournament. So we'd have like, you know, 12 games in before we would we would come and and, and play like a Division Two, and they'd have two games in. So I just like to play, man. That's the world I'm from. Well, Coach, uh, thanks for the time, and I'm, I'm glad your headset still works. Uh, really, uh, kind of got the team going uh, when you yeah, slammed uh, the table uh, here during the ball game. Yeah, just my heart breaks for Ethan because you know he's such a great scorer, and and 
you know, he's going to have such a wonderful career here um, because he works at it, but he can't buy a bucket, and we need, we need him to, and it's affecting the other areas of his game, and, you know, it affects me too as, as the coach. So that was a little slap for you, and, uh, you know, this was the Duke money. Got us these anyway, so, you know, I can hit him. I can hit him. Well, Coach, thanks for the time, and we'll talk to you again on Thursday. All right, guys.